to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a DIY project and um, I've seen this done before and I honestly just don't ever have the time or take the time to do stuff myself. Sometimes I do and honestly I like the outcome better and sometimes you save money and it's a lot cheaper than um, buying the original thing from places like I made my home sign and that cost me less than ten dollars it didn't even cost me that much and then my cotton wreath also I'll show you guys um this I literally made myself I bought the wreath itself and I made all of I need to fix that but I made all of the little um pieces cotton pieces or whatever with the whatever you want to call it I made it myself and then I just got letters and done it and it literally was the easiest project I've ever done. But anyone that knows me knows that I've always been really crafty. I like making stuff myself. And overlook my child in the background. He has to be in here and jabbering of course while I'm trying to film this. But um, today I'm going to be doing a DIY for a tobacco basket and you're probably wondering how the heck do you do this. Some people may have seen others do this so I'm going to try and we'll see. Um, you only need literally like three things. Um, well, I only had to buy um, just one thing because I have so much paint. Like literally, I have boxes of paint. Like literally, I don't have to worry about even getting paint. I already have paint. You need a glue gun. Um, I already have a bunch of sponges. And then you need a poster board. And that's the only thing I had to buy and you buy two of them and you can go to the Dollar Tree and get them and they're two for a dollar. So literally all I spent was a dollar. But if it goes to and you don't have any of this stuff, you're gonna have to buy paint, you're gonna have to buy a glue gun, you're gonna have to buy glue sticks. And my glue gun itself was like $20. And then glue gun, my glue, I always buy like a big pack. Um, I'll show you guys. This is the, I'm actually running low, because I always use this for when I make wreaths, but this is just the glue gun that I got, and then I always buy like the super long ones with 24 in it, because they last longer instead of buying the little ones, but I mean, if you go to make this yourself and you don't have any of this, then you're going to spend, I mean, a little bit of money, but I haven't had to spend too much because I already have this stuff, but I'm just going to start by painting the board first. And you need to paint both sides and you obviously um i have like these three colors and you're more, probably wondering why i have orange but i have this melted chocolate and then i have this beach comber beige and then orange and this is just to make it look like um like how the tobacco basket color looks you want it to be brown but not too much of a brown so we're going to mix this in a bowl um and we'll see how it goes Okay, so I got um, just the first side painted on this one and I'm literally just gonna let it sit outside on my back porch just to dry a little bit quicker. It's almost dry, but this is just to let it go faster. And then I'm going to start on the second piece now because I have to do both sides, but I wanna go ahead and like paint this first side and then I'll be able to finish the other side. And something I have learned from doing this is you don't want to over put paint because it will make it darker than what you want i just found that out on doing the second piece but i mean it's okay certain pieces you can use for different spots but you just want to do one stroke and stay in that stroke until that line is completely done because it gives it that um i'll show you what i'm talking about but it gives it that like line look that you're kind of wanting so this is kind of what I was talking about. It's not perfect, but as you can see, it's kind of got the line kind of, some spots are darker than others, but it's not going to be perfect. But you get the point. You just wanna, the spot's a little bit too light for my likings, but. All right, I finished painting both, so I'm just gonna clean my table off so I don't have paint or all over this.
can actually use in my method, let's see here, glass cleaner and it smells amazing. It's in the scent waterfall. And I get all of my cleaning products from Grove. I will leave a link below for you guys. If you're interested, I can get you a free set you are new to Grove and you don't like want any of those scents and you want just a regular scent, I highly recommend the Lemon Verbin, Verbeta. I've never been able to say that. I don't know how you say it. Verbena, Verbeta, something like that. But it's just the scent that I have out right now. And it's literally my favorite. Let's see. If I can get this to focus. There we go. But yeah, it's definitely my favorite scent. And I definitely recommend it. So I will leave a link below for you guys if you are new and want to try it out. Okay, so now I have my piece of board. And we're going to start by cutting it into pieces. And you're going to want to cut this long ways. Now the one thing about doing this is you're going to have to cut them all out yourself and you know they might be the same like width, they might not. Just try and get it as close as possible that you can. I'm just kind of eyeballing it right now. But one thing you can do is after you cut one, just put it down beside and you can cut the same length for all of them. This is definitely not the easiest way to do it for me. I feel like this is complicated, but that's just a, an idea. And you can just follow that and cut out the same exact piece for all of them so they'll be the same. Now you don't have to do this. You can do it your own way, but this is just what I'm going to do because this is my first time trying this. So I want to get it as perfect as possible. Okay, so I have finished cutting up both poster boards and I am just laying out my poster boards now. Like when you're doing these, um, like I started my first piece and on this end and this end this is above this piece and then the next piece I started under and then this one's above and then this one will be under so you want to keep the process the same so that it looks right because um, if you don't and you do them all like under or all over it's not going to look right I think but that's just my opinion so that's just how I'm doing it um, I'm just going to keep doing that that process um, above and then under above and then under just to have like the same pattern. All right, so now I am just going to finish. I've got all of this threaded through, but um, I'm just going to go through and finish gluing pieces that need to be glued. I want to make sure that they are together and not going to come apart. I haven't glued every single little spot, but I'm doing like the main parts that need to be glued. Make sure that it's not going to go nowhere. So now, let's see, I'm trying to get some better lighting for you guys. Now, this is completely folded up on all sides. You want to Get two pieces and cross them. Alright guys, so I just finished the um, tobacco basket. 
and it's a pretty decent size now whenever I made this I wasn't really it's my first one but um, the outcome is actually really good the only thing I would do different is um, I would make sure you get your glue access off when you do glue stuff I kind of waited and I'm trying to do that now but this is just the back and then this is just the front and I'll show you what it looks like maybe um, hanging up or something I kind of just stuck it on this little reef hanger let's see you can get a better look at it but this is just um, the actual size and another thing I would do different is kind of make my edges a little bit more rounder I didn't do that but like I said this is my first one but for it being my first one I think it turned out actually really good and another thing my holes um, I definitely think I would cut maybe my paper thinner or spread my stuff out more I didn't get like the exact fulfillment I guess um, if that's what you want to say with like the holes but for it being my first one and never making one and just making this out of cardboard poster I think it looks pretty good I think I might hang this on my wall actually and put a wreath in it I honestly don't know but it turned out actually I feel like I just had the camera extremely close to my face but I think it turned out actually really good considering but consider yeah and today actually you're probably wondering like I look different I have different clothes on I took a shower I let the stuff dry and whatever and I took a shower and then um, I come back down here to finish working on it but um, considering it being my first one I think it turned out halfway decent I am going to try this again but do a smaller version because um i think i actually might want to put one in my bathroom on the shelf or in my living room below my cow picture maybe i don't know but i'm pretty sure i'm gonna stick this right here on my wall somehow and put a reef or something in it i honestly don't know yet but i think maybe because this space used to be where i had my cow picture and i took that down and stuck it in the living room but that is it for this video if you guys liked this diy project give it a thumbs up um subscribe if you haven't already and comment below what you think and if you would be interested in me doing more diy projects like this um i'm definitely into the farmhouse rustic look stuff so if you have something you would like me to try definitely comment down below and let me know see you guys in my next video